Hi there, and welcome to this day in history for August 23rd. August 23rd is the 235th day of the year in the Gregorian calendar, 236th in leap years, with 130 days remaining to the end of the year. In ancient astrology, it's a cusp day between Virgo and Leo. Today's word is rash. Rash could be an adjective or its homonym, which happens to be a noun. Same spelling, same pronunciation, two different meanings with two different origins. As an adjective, rash means to act quickly and without thinking carefully about what will happen as a result. To act hastily without carefully considering the consequences. Rash also describes actions done in such a way. Additionally, rash describes such actions. As a noun, rash is an eruption on the body, like a skin rash. The noun rash, which first appeared in English in the late 1600s, comes to us from a Latin word that means to scrape, scratch, or shave, whereas the adjective rash first appeared in 1400s Middle English and meant active, quick, or eager rash. And with that, we're going to start in the year 79 when Mount Vesuvius began stirring on the feast day of Vulcan, the Roman god of fire. Wow. On August 23, 1305, Sir William Wallace was executed for high treason in London. Now this made me wonder, what did he do that was so treasonous? Well, it is that he was a Scottish knight who became one of the main leaders during the First War of Scottish Independence. He and his crew defeated an English army in September of 1297. He was appointed Guardian of Scotland and served until his defeat at the Battle of Falkirk in July of 1298. He was captured in 1305, handed over to King Edward I of England who had him executed for crimes against the English civilians. Sir William Wallace is the subject of the Academy Award-winning film Braveheart, if you've seen that. I've seen that, it's been a while though. This is the birthday of Louis XVI of France, born August 23, 1754. Now he was the last king of France before the fall of the monarchy during the French Revolution. He only lived to the age of 38 when he was executed by guillotine. On August 23, 1775, King George III delivered his proclamation of rebellion to the court of St. James, stating that the American colonies had proceeded to a state of open and avowed rebellion. Yes, they had. The Albert Bridge in Chelsea, London opened on August 23, 1873. On August 23, 1898, the Southern Cross Expedition, also known as the British Antarctic Expedition, departed from London for Antarctica. This was the first British venture of the heroic age of Antarctic exploration. Burr. The automobile tire chain, also known as snow chains, were patented on August 23, 1904. This is the birthday of American cartoonist Ernie Bushmiller, born August 23, 1905. He's best known for creating the daily comic strip Nancy, which premiered in 1938 and has remained in print for over 85 years. The comic strip actually started out featuring a different character, Fritzy Ritz. He introduced Nancy as Fritzy's niece, and Nancy was so popular that she began to appear more often Aunt Fritzy was seen less frequently, and the comic strip was renamed Nancy in 1938. Ernie Bushmiller lived to the age of 76. This is the birthday of American actor, singer, and dancer Gene Kelly, born August 23, 1912. Mr. Singing in the Rain lived to the age of 83. On August 23, 1914, Japan declared war on Germany. This was World War I times. This is the birthday of American singer, songwriter, and guitarist Tex Williams, born August 23, 1917. He was a, an American Western swing musician, best known for his talking blues style. His biggest hit was a song called Smoke, Smoke, Smoke That Cigarette. <laughs> 
It's a great example of the Talking Blues style, and I have placed a link in the show notes for you. Even if you don't smoke or are opposed to smoking, I think you'll find it an amusing song. Check it out. On August 23rd, 1927, Italian anarchists Sacco and Vanzetti were executed after a lengthy and controversial trial. On August 23rd, 1939, Nazi Germany and the Soviet Union signed a non-aggression treaty, the Molotov-Ribbentrop Pact. In a secret addition to the pact, the Baltic states, Finland, Romania, and Poland were divided between the two nations. The Battle of Stalingrad began on August 23, 1942. We've talked about the Battle of Stalingrad before. This is the birthday of Keith Moon, born August 23, 1946. He was the drummer for the rock band The Who. Quite a character, very entertaining. He lived life to the max and sadly died of a drug overdose at the age of 32. On August 23, 1948, the World Council of Churches was formed by 147 churches from 44 countries. This is the birthday of actress Shelley Long, born August 23, 1949. You might remember her as Diane Chambers on the sitcom Cheers. She's also acted in a number of movies. August 23, 1954 is the first flight of the Lockheed C-130. On August 23, 1966, Lunar Orbiter 1 took the first photograph of Earth from orbit around the moon. This is the birthday of River Phoenix, born August 23, 1970. He was an American actor, starred in a number of films. Sadly, he passed away of a drug overdose at the age of 23. On August 23, 1973, a bank robbery gone wrong in Stockholm, Sweden turned into a hostage crisis. Over the next five days, the hostages began to sympathize with their captors. This leads to the term Stockholm Syndrome. This is a situation in which emotional bonds may be formed between captor and captives during intimate time together, but are generally considered irrational in light of the danger or risk endured by the victims. Stockholm Syndrome has not been included in the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, also known as the DSM. This is the standard tool for diagnosis of psychiatric illnesses and disorders. Its non-inclusion in this manual is due to a lack of consistent body of academic research. The syndrome is considered extremely rare though, and experts in the field estimate that fewer than 5% of kidnapping victims show evidence of Stockholm Syndrome. The Pontiac Silver Dome opened in Pontiac, Michigan, 30 miles northwest of Detroit, Michigan on August 23, 1975. Silver Dome was a stadium that hosted football games, soccer games, basketball games, wrestling, <laughs> concerts, and so on. Unfortunately, the harsh Michigan winters took their toll on the architecture and they had a roof collapse and other structural damage. Unfortunately, the city of Pontiac was having financial woes of its own and was unable to support renovation efforts. Eventually, the structure was demolished in 2018. This is the birthday of basketball great Kobe Bryant, born August 23, 1978. He had an amazing career, won lots of awards. Kobe, along with several others, including his 13-year-old daughter, tragically died in January of 2020 in a helicopter crash. He was 41. Armenia declared its independence from the Soviet Union on August 23, 1990. The World Wide Web was open to the public on August 23, 1991. On August 23, 2006, an Austrian girl named Natasha Kampusch, who had been abducted at the age of 10, escaped from her captor after eight years of captivity. That's quite a story. On August 23, 2007, the skeletal remains of Russia's last royal family members were discovered. A magnitude 5.8 earthquake occurred in Virginia on August 23, 2011. This caused damage to monuments and structures in Washington, D.C., with 
damage estimates in the ranges of 200 to 300 million dollars. And I think that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. Feel free to share this video with a link in your email, messaging, or social media. If you enjoy this series, you can check out the playlist that contains these videos. I'll put a link to that in the description. That description lives on YouTube, so for other platforms, I'll include the link to my blog page that is called No Really. <laughs> you can also find me on Rumble, Parlor, BitChute, and Gitter. All those links in that description. Alrighty, that's all I can think of right now. Thanks again and all. See you next time.